I used to teach phys ed for 16 years and administration for a year and a half before I had my accident. And now I had another concussion in April 2018 last year mm -hmm. by a student in the gym. Oh. So now I'm no longer in the gym. So it's mm -hmm. now finding my way somewhere else in the school. I had a mountain biking accident in uh, 2008, um, fell about eight feet into a coulee. I was training for 24 hours of adrenaline out in Canmore mm -hmm. and uh, sat up um, and I felt like my nose was bleeding and immediately dizzy and uh, turned out it was a severe TBI and an undetected uh, CSF leak for oh, 15 no. months and had a baby in between. It took seven doctors, two neurologists, and finally referred on to an EMT who discovered my leak, my CSF leak in five minutes of talking to her. Mm -hmm. I have not a lot of support, mm -hmm. not a lot of support. Um, I got, you're dizzy because you're preggers. Um, after I fell, I was two weeks pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't get a lot of support that way from the medical community. And then after was along the lines of, you have post-concussion. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. So um, I had been teaching for five years and when I turned 30 I was asked to apply for the vice principal role at my school of 550 kids mm -hmm. and um, I was the youngest woman VP at the time and I got the position and um, I was unable to resume my career as an administrator in school. Mm -hmm. So I have yet to return to full-time work since the accident. Uh, fatigue is um, but fatigue and dizziness and disorientation and memory issues are my biggest concerns. Mm -hmm. And uh, with not having the energy level, I can never return to full-time work. Uh, it's difficult, you know, to have, I was 32 years old, um, I mountain biked daily. I was a marathon runner. I was a soccer player, golfer, um, and very successful teacher. And I had plans to move on to become a vice principal and then a principal. And my life um, went a completely different way than originally planned. And it was devastating. Mm -hmm. Devastating. So uh, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety. March 2017, I was in the middle, I was biking downstairs in my basement um, on a trainer and I got off my bike and immediately I felt really dizzy and it didn't make any sense. I felt like a concussion, there was a delay of vision, um, disorientation immediately and uh, I didn't hit my head. So I was concerned, it didn't, it didn't make sense, but it felt like a concussion. And um, a friend of mine at the time was down in Dallas at Cerebrum and he had called me. It was bizarre. I, I had these symptoms. I went to my sports med doctor down in Lethbridge and she said, it is what it is. You've had head injuries. We don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't, we can't explain this. And about two weeks later, my friend called me from Dallas and he says, you better get down here. There's amazing things down here. Um, you need to get down here. So then I boarded the plane with my mom and we got down to Dallas and discovered a lot of functional medicine pieces to why I wasn't recovering. Mm -hmm. And um, anyways, that started my whole journey on functional medicine. When I got back to Canada, my doctors here were not supportive. Um, I needed to go on bioidentical hormones. They wouldn't support it. Um, they kind of looked at the paper and put it aside and had no interest in helping me out. So I ended up kind of having to find, and it was very difficult to get, um, medications across the border. So they encouraged me to find someone here in Calgary mm -hmm. um, to get support and to help. And I ended up um, working with a naturopath who referred me onto a 
a Doctor Who prescribed bioidentical hormones, mm -hmm. and things were really good with the hormones for um, probably two months, and then everything fell apart. I felt like my body just hit rock bottom. I had tons of symptoms. It got worse um, than it was before. Lots of pain, digestion issues, uh, memory got worse. I pulled myself off the hormones, and um, long story short, I got myself into Lynn Murfin, Dr. Lynn Murfin, and working with Dr. Lynn Murfin, she referred me on to Corey mm -hmm. with Nirvana. So that's how I ended up coming to, to meet Corey. One, I didn't see results right away from the neurofeedback. So it, I can't say it was a neurofeedback. I saw results right away. I bought into it. Um, it was the fact that in conversations with Corey, in conversations with Nicole, conversations with Liz, mm -hmm. it was like, this is what you're going to go through. It is going to get worse before it gets better, mm -hmm. but it will do this to you. Yeah. Corey shared some personal stories with me. Mm -hmm. Nicole shared some personal stories with me saying, this is what happened to me, yeah. but this is how I turned out in the end. And it just gave me the hope that there was going to be a change. And I stuck with it. And like I said, it got worse before it got better. And then all of a sudden, like Nicole had promised me, she said, by about 15 to 20 sessions, mm -hmm. you're going to see a difference. And sure enough, it was about session 18, 19 yeah. that my life started to change. Um, the biggest, the first symptom I saw a difference in was irritability and anger. Mm -hmm. And um, I have two young children at home, they're seven and ten years mm -hmm. old, and they can push buttons. Yeah. I'm a teacher who works with kids all day, mm -hmm. um, and I felt that my first go-to emotion was always anger. Mm -hmm. And I always had this un underlying irritability every day, all day. and. I felt for me was instead of irritable, I started getting almost calm. Like it, it, it was, I was almost like even keel, if that's a really good choice of word. Um, and then from that moment on, I started feeling moments of joy. And from having the last 10 years, I was either numb and have absolutely no feeling or um, anger and irritable. And so to find that place of joy for the first time in almost 11 years was pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So that was my first aha moment yeah. with Nirvana. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about this the other day. Both my kids just turned um, 7 and 10 in March and last year during my daughter's big birthday of turning 6, I remember thinking when is this going to be over? Instead of like reveling in the moment and enjoying it. And this year when she turned seven, I enjoyed every minute of being there. And that for me was a, a success. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be irritable. <laughs> I'd be angry. Um, I'd be missing on many things in life. Um, you know, knowing the science behind neurofeedback and understanding what it's doing to my nervous system is that I'd miss out on getting out of that fight or flight state, what I had been in for the last 10 years, um, and missing out on being present in my life. Yeah. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Keep asking if if it's wrong and you feel it's wrong. You keep pushing forward and you you ask. If there is help out there, um, and people who are willing to do anything for you and support you. And however, um, the medical system has a time and place. Um, but post concussion, there are other supports available, and I would encourage you to seek and find them. I'm excited uh, for the first time in a long time. I'm excited to move forward and enjoy the rest of my life. 
I know I'm not done here with my journey at Nirvana. I know I've got a, a few sessions to go and some um, work to do. Um, but, uh, you know, it's expensive. I understand it. it's expensive. And it's one of those things that I would rather, it's your health. It's your health and, and it's worth it. And, and I would pay double the amount. Don't tell Corey that. <laughs> you know, I would, it's, it's worth the money. It's worth the time and the energy to put into Nirvana Health and Neurofeedback. Um, I promise you, I am getting the results. Um, but pursue it. And um, again, for me, it's worth it.